Hey, what's up YouTube? This is iPhone Monitor here, and as you can tell, I do have OS X Line installed, and I did do it from one of these babies, which is a bootable disc. If you want to see how to put OX Line on a bootable disc like this, just go to the link in them below, and also please like my Facebook fan page, follow me on Twitter, and add me to your circle on Google+. So now let's get started. <laughs> Basically in this video I'm going to be showing you guys a cool nifty features that were actually announced along with the OS X line. I'm not going to go through all 10 of the main features, just about 3 or 4 of them. And here you go. So basically the background obviously has changed. There's some story behind the solar system planet thing, but I honestly don't really know what it is and it's not important. And basically here are the main things. So if you have a multitasking gesture pad like I do here, which is called the trackpad, you can do 3 fingers and swipe up like that or four fingers I believe works too, or maybe not. Three fingers, then you can do your desktop. So basically I have my desktop one, which I have Google Chrome open right here. This is in full screen mode, which I'll be talking about in a second. So you can do that, and then you have another desktop, and then you can just open up, like for example, iPhoto. And once iPhoto is opened up, you have the option to make it a full screen app by clicking this little bitty arrow thing up right up here, and it makes it a full screen application. You can switch between these full screen applications by taking three fingers and dragging across the multi track pad like so. And you can drag across, and once you get to the end, it'll give you a little animation like that, and you have to stop, obviously. Then you have your little widgets here. It's not an overlay over the screen anymore. It's a separate page, as you can see. Another thing also available in Mission Control is the ability to actually add desktops. So for example, you can press a plus here, and here it says desktop three. Then if I press on iPhoto, and it gives me Google Chrome, I can drag Google Chrome into desktop three, and now it's transferred into desktop three. I can also drag it back to desktop two, and then delete desktop three, and now I'm back to desktop two. With iPhoto, I can also do whatever I want with that. I can drag it, do whatever, it doesn't really matter. But right now I'm on desktop one. So you can pretty much just manage your space. It is kind of confusing, but then you can just scroll through your desktops. So if you have a lot of stuff open on one page, we don't want to be distracted. You can just make a different desktop and that kind of sort. It's really easy, guys. And one thing that's really annoying is that they reverse the scroll. So instead of going like this, if you go up, it goes down. If you go down, it goes up. So I'm just going to show you guys really quickly how to disable that. So what you want to do is go into your system preferences, which is in the bottom. And once you open up your system preferences, you're going to want to go on mouse. And then mouse, you're going to want to press scroll direction natural. It will be already checked. You want to uncheck that. It's going to bring you to more gestures immediately. So you're going to have to change the point and click and then deselect scroll direction natural. You just want to deselect that and you're all good. You'll have the normal snow leopard scrolling, which a lot of people got used to. The next thing you have is something called launch pad. You can do five fingers or four fingers, but you have to include your thumb to scroll out and you can scroll in like that too to get back to the desktop and you can scroll out to reveal your iOS style icons and you can't scroll back with three fingers you have to actually drag like that which I think is kind of stupid but these are all my Windows applications and such and it makes folders like you can see here this is like iOS style to bring a folder all you really have to do is just take this application drag it onto that one and there you go you have a folder it's really 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 simple and I really like the concept I just wish you could kind of use your gestures to navigate through but this is really cool I really like it a lot I hope you get OS X line I think it's a worthy upgrade of $30 because I mean you get some speed enhancements you get mission control launch pad some other things I'm not going to cover in this video and just general stuff that's really really cool so guys Please let me know if you liked this video. Let me know if what I did wrong. Let me know if you guys didn't like it. Give me honest feedback. I really don't care what you guys say. So please like this video, guys. Subscribe and ultimately have a nice day.